We're just giving you a call to say, if you're up for it, we'd love you to come and join us on this next adventure. As per usual, we are scrambling to get out of Virgin Gorda to head to St. Martin and the cat are generally scrambling to do nothing. Is it time, Charlie? Is it time? It is! Did we remember how to sail this boat, guys? <laughs> we've done no more than four mile journeys since we've gotten to the Virgin Islands. Martin. So we're going to get there before 3 o'clock? No, I've actually slowed the boat down. We're going to get there about an hour early. I just woke up from my off watch because I heard uh, a call on the radio saying cheeky monkey, cheeky monkey, cheeky monkey, this is hideaway. Came up and I think Ryan was watching TV on his iPad so he had no idea he was getting hailed by our old boat to our new boat. Cheeky monkey, cheeky monkey. Yeah, roger that hideaway. One, one. Hey, Jack, it's Ryan on Cheeky Monkey. So we are just pulling up to uh, St. Martin. We're pulling into the uh, Dutch side. This is a destination we have to come to, not only because we have our broker here who sold us our boat, and he is responsible for fixing some of the broken things on board, like the ice maker and um, our autopilot. We also have some great news. As of yesterday, we sold our old boat hideaway, our beloved little training boat, our Catalina 34, that we sailed down to the Caribbean in 2012. We learned to sail on that boat and we finally found a buyer. We have spoken with the guy, Jack, over the phone, and he seems like a really nice guy. He's super excited about going out on hideaway and exploring the Caribbean. We just spotted one of the weirdest boats I've ever seen. It looks like a, a cross between a Batman boat and a spaceship. What is that? This thing is crazy looking. What are you guys doing today? We are putting together a blog post for TurfToSurf.com to publicize that we are recruiting people for the Pacific Crossing. Yeah, so ideally we will get like two guys and then one more girl in terms of like how the bedroom situation will work. Like it could be two guys or it could be a couple. Right now we're just like trying to come up with a list of qualities of people that we're looking for. Yeah, so, so far, our essential qualities for crew are that they be adventurous, have a good sense of humor, have to have good personal hygiene, and they need to not be allergic to or afraid of cats. So, here it is. This is our post that we just put up announcing our search for crew. Personally, I'm really excited to see what kind of applications we get from this, but I think it should be pretty cool. We've got a list of things we're trying to get done before we push off for the Pacific. 
So basically, priority number one is most definitely the autopilot. We have to get that fixed. Number two is probably, I'd say, the ice maker. Um, I have to get it installed, I have to get the thing working. It'd be amazing to have a working ice maker on board. And then number three is we have a problem with our head sail and a bimini. It's a little bit of canvas work that we have to get um, fixed before we leave as well. So those are the three things. Well-known uh, brand, but it's not so good. We're going to France in St. Martin and we are going to go and take this sail to get fixed. This is where we're going. Toby's very welcoming. This says, kick this gate and I will kick you, Toby. Uh, I dropped the boom on this. Yeah. I don't know if you can fix that for me. We learned that the manufacturer of our sales is actually located just down the street, so we're going to get the sail repaired by the people that know it best. It's probably the other. Look at that! No. It's freaking incidences. When we stopped earlier, they guaranteed 100% there was no chance they were going to get that sale ready for us at any time within the near future. Then within two minutes they said, okay, maybe next week. We've just dropped the sale off and they said, okay, noon tomorrow. So we're back tomorrow. Do you think that has anything to do with the fact that he looked at the sale and realized how small a repair it would be and then was like, you guys probably could have done that yourself. <laughs> I mean, hang on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe he's got an intern that does that sort of work. <laughs> <laughs> They're available. <laughs> yeah, his grandma's gonna fix it back tomorrow. No worries. <laughs> So, Christy. Yes. What are you doing? We decided that um, this afternoon we would dedicate some time to start going through some of these applications that have been coming in for our crew recruitment um, for our next season of sailing um, from the Caribbean to the Pacific. We are beyond excited to have some new crew join us, get to meet people from all over the world and the applications have been absolutely flowing. I'm a hotel manager from Israel that has applied, a lady from BC, Canada, who um, her name is actually Ocean, so how fitting is that? We've had tons of people with sailing experience, videography experience, just passionate travelers in general. Um, we actually have one girl, uh, Bruna, who's from Brazil, and she's a videographer herself who's gonna be joining us on Tuesday for a shorter part of this trip. I'm Bruna, I'm from Brazil. I love filming, I love editing. This is what I wanna do for the rest of my life. I'm like, always carry my camera everywhere I go. Two years ago, I was part of a project called Infinity Expedition, and we sailed through Patagonia. And since then, I've been like really interested about sailing, the sailing community, and I think it's the best way to travel the world. I'm going to give you uh, uh, some traits in pairs, and you have to, your first impression, which one is more important for you, okay? Okay. Hard working or fun? Uh, 
I feel like you have to be both. Let's do alcoholic or teetotal. Did you just use the CrossFit term? Alcoholic or teetotal? Teetotal. Doesn't mean you don't drink that. They just like tea? I think so. <laughs> is that a British term? This is going really well. <laughs> From one extreme to the other. Okay, I'm gonna go with um, alcoholic. Good, good decision. Yeah. Today, I am off on my own little adventure to try and pick up some supplies all around St. Martin um, to get the boat ready for next week and run some errands for Ryan so he can be there when the people come to uh, work on the ice maker, which is a problem all in its own right that we thought was gonna be solved, but it turns out it's not. Okay, so we take a little bit of a pit stop so you can see the views of St. Martin. We're clearly in tourist heaven right now. This is where all the cruise ships get off. But I'm trying to find a car rental place. So I've made it to Phillipsburg at the travel car rental place where I need to pick up Ryan and Tasha's new driver's license. The sign here says open. Not open. Success. Finally got what I came here for. Thank you. So second thing on our list is done. Now, next I need to go to the Chandlery to pick up a new halyard because we've had some damage to our Jenniker halyard. It would help if I tied the mousing line to the right halyard before I re-ran it. Oops. I've just arrived to the airport and we're here to pick up Bruna who's going to be our crew member with us all the way through to Panama City and she's from Brazil and um, I can't wait to meet her and also to introduce her to you guys. Is everything okay? Okay so a bit of a situation. I'm leaving the airport. I still haven't collected Bruna. They won't let her leave because they need a marine letter. Okay, so we're back at the airport. I brought the captain with me. The captain of Cheeky Monkey. We're here to get Bruna out of out of hostage with immigration. Okay, our plan is one, find someone that looks like a captain. Two, speak with a very strong British accent. She's arrived! There she is! <laughs> we rescued her from immigration at the St. Martin Airport. We know for next time to get the marine letter to them early. <laughs> we apologize, Verna. Don't let this be your first impression of the Cheeky Monkey crew. We've got Bruna here in the car with us and we've been doing tons of boat work the last few days so we're actually going to take some time off now that she's here and go see everything that the island has to offer. So our first stop is Maho Bay or Maho Beach which is the infamous beach where all the planes land and take off over. So uh, we're going to go check that out and be super tourists this afternoon. to the end of our 136 applicants for crew to join us on the South Pacific Adventure and we've whittled it down it's been hard there's been so many good applicants so many cool people applied so many people with some terrific stories who'd like to join us on this next leg 
uh, but we've got it down, we've got it down to the last few um, and we're about to give them a call to let them know the good news. Hey team, good morning. Welcome to sunny Cartagena, Colombia. This is Lance. Hey Crazy Monkey, my name is Gemma Free. Coming at you from Love City, St. John in the beautiful US Virgin Islands. It's 1am South African time. Um, you wanted me to make a video about why it would be a good fit. I want to get out there and see what else life has to offer. So I'm, I'm meant to be going home. My mum's been telling me that I've got to come back and join reality, but I'm looking for that one last adventure, and I think this is it. I want to see more. I'm, I don't want to set roots. And I would love to be part of your adventure. We're just back to speak to Lawrence and Leanne to let them know the good news. You're gonna love these guys who are gonna join us for this next leg. We are super, super stoked about this. Here is uh, Christy working hard. Are you working hard or are you just eating lunch? I'm working very hard. We're just giving you a call to say, if you're up for it, we'd love you to come and join us on this next adventure. Awesome, I'd love to. We just would like to invite you to come join us for the uh, South Pacific Crossing if you are so inclined. Yeah. Yeah! Yay! Yeah, we're really excited to have you on board, so uh, we, we really can't wait. It's going to be an adventure. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo! Great. Okay, all right, well, have a good rest of the day. Go out and celebrate. We'll do the same here, and uh, we'll chat yeah. soon. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our video of St. Martin. We are beyond excited to introduce you to the new crew for the South Pacific Crossing. And for the next video, you are in for a real treat. Not only is it edited by Bruna, who you just met in this video, but we're joined by our friends Kat and Will from Monday Never when we sailed to Anguilla for Easter weekend. If you haven't heard, uh, Chase the Story has recently signed up for Patreon. If you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like a Kickstarter for creatives. Our videos will always be free and we are so thankful for all of our amazing supporters and viewers, but this is just a new way for you to become a part of the adventure. Thanks so much for watching and you can check out our Patreon page here.